chosen ones, empaths. There's a fault in us which is being instilled in us by toxic people, narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths. And because we've been put through devaluation from these people, we often compare ourselves to others. And we look at ourselves as if we have less than or we're not good enough. And with the age of social media and constantly looking in on other people's lives that have been airbrushed in a way to make you jealous, you know, a lot of us don't actually value ourselves. And I just want you to know how special you are in God's sight, how special you are to the universe. You're a unique creation. There's only one you. There's never going to be another you. For as long as we live, there will never, ever, ever be another you. And you have a set of gifts that only you can bring to the world. And I know I speak broadly when I start the videos and I address us as empaths and chosen ones. But you still, as a unique individual, have something special you can bring to the world. And I don't want you to compare yourself to anybody. You see, when we start comparing ourselves <clears throat> to other people, and I'm not just talking about physicality here. You, you could talk about material or even uh, educational. It could be a variety of things that you're comparing yourself to other people about. And it really is a very toxic trait to have you see you can do it momentarily but if you start delving deep you know i believe that that is a whisper from the enemy to make you compare yourself to other people you see like um people might address someone people might okay for example let me let me get to it like someone might have a problem with their weight or someone might have a problem with how tall they are or whatever like that but it's only if you're comparing yourself to other people right there's things that you can do to enhance yourself right and i'm not talking about medical procedures or anything like that but i'm saying if you're unhappy about your weight there's things you can do right but beating yourself down about it or constantly looking in the mirror and not looking at not liking what you see in the reflection you need to be proud of who you are no matter where you're at and be proud of where you're at right now that's what i'm saying be proud of who you are and wear it proudly you see, I'm five foot nine, right? I don't get insecure because I'm not six foot five. I don't get insecure because I'm not as tall as someone else or whatever like that. I, I'm I'm very proud of who I am and that's how it is. I don't compare myself to anybody else, right? And honestly, I've really focused on this quite a lot. I've noticed that you know, it can come with anything. It could come with, oh, Instagram or what uh, or whatnot. Oh, they've got more followers than me or this person's got... It can come in a variety of ways. And it's like we should focus solely on us, people. Focus solely on us. I'm not saying don't care about the human race and stuff like that. But I'm saying if we're using our vision... And it's being pinned on to focusing on where other people are outdoing us. It's because we're actually looking at ourselves in a negative light. We need to understand how special we are in God's sight. Right? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. How clean is your heart? How pure is your heart? That's what matters. Right? How much are you a good person? 
that's what matters on the scale. It's not going to matter about how many followers you have or anything like that. That's not going to matter on it, when we all process to the next stage of life, right? That's not going to matter. It's going to matter about what impact we had on the world or what deeds we done or what how how pure our heart is. I think everything is measured on the heart. And that's why some of these people that you're comparing yourself to, these people, are, they don't have a heart, you know. Some of these celebrities, don't let no celebrities or any anyone, anyone, don't let anyone make yourself, put yourself down. You know, it all starts like you got to understand, right? Some of these so-called inverted commas supermodels and stuff like that have such low self-confidence and such low self-esteem, even though they're actually like poster girls for magazines and whatnot. They have such low self-esteem because they're surrounding themselves in a bitchy environment with other females and they're comparing themselves with everyone else and they feel less than. It's actually a known fact, like, a lot of these glamour models and stuff like that, they have very low self-esteem and insecurities because they're surrounded by other women who are probably in a bitchy environment. Um, they also are comparing themselves constantly rather than being glad with what God provided them. If you fashion your mind every day, and you say to yourself, you know what? I'm grateful for who I am. I am who I am. There's no one else like me. There's something in me that still needs to be unearthed. If it hasn't been unearthed already. There's something that you're going to bring to the world. Think of this stuff. Think of the important stuff. Don't worry about someone else. You know, it's even like on the YouTube journey. I'm very thankful for all of you viewers and subscribers on this channel and the other channel. Right. I'm not comparing myself to another narcissist channel. I, I speak about narcissism in the way that I have believe and the way that I can put my analysis on it. And I talk about it in a spiritual sense and I add in the spiritual aspect. Which maybe it's not appreciated by a lot of people. But I'm going to speak my truths. And I'm going to speak my message for the channel. For our channel. Right? I don't compare myself to other people or to other channels. You know? I, don't, I, I just don't do it. There's no point. If we compare ourselves, we'll constantly be miserable. We're constantly putting ourselves down. So please, don't put yourself down. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of your unique creation. Honestly, these narcissists and toxic people in general, I'm telling you, even your family members, some of your closest family members, they, I'm not saying they're full-blown narcissists or psychopaths or sociopaths, but I'm telling you, I've received devaluation from family members. And I call it out as it is now. I see what they're doing. I say you're devaluing. They say, what? I say, you're devaluing. I can sense it. They think they know me so well. They think they can paint me with a brush. And they think they can just devalue me. I, I can see it now, loud and clear, when someone is doing devaluation. And honestly, as a group of empaths and chosen ones, and some of us have been victims of abuse... We have gone through intense devaluation. We have gone through intense devaluation. Okay. And none of us should compare ourselves to anybody else. None of us should compare ourselves to anyone else. We need to be grateful and practice gratitude towards the unique creation that we are. Because if you compare yourself, you constantly make yourself feel less than. When this person, who knows, God only knows where you are positioned on earth, in what degree he's raised you. 
God raises you degrees. God raises you and ascends you. And, you know, you don't realize. Not everything's based on materials or wealth even. Yeah, there might be someone who's the richest man in the world, mate, but he might have the blackest heart. And you've got something which is like more wealthy and more powerful in having spiritual wealth than his wealth all combined. Like even if he got all of his money and tried to put it together and tried to, he couldn't purchase what you have in your heart. He can't get that. You see, this is why we're in this world and a lot of the stuff that we focus on is materialistic Um how things appear, no one looks within enough, right, and I want you to focus on your blessings, on who you are, you know, we can all try our best to present ourselves in the best way, that's okay, you know, you might like to dress up, or you put makeup on, or you do this, or you do that, that's fine, you know what I'm saying, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm saying don't compare yourself to someone else. Be proud of who you are. There's, there's, no, there's no comparison to you. You know what I'm saying? There's no comparison. When you understand that every single human being on earth is unique. It's only because they, they, they divide us up and categorize us. Why we feel lost or we're not part of the pack. Or away from the herd. But it's better to be rolling solo. On your own thing. Than mixed up with a pack. And I address us as empaths and chosen ones. But empaths aren't. You don't learn about empaths in school. They don't teach you about narcissists in school. They don't teach you about psychopaths in school. They don't teach us about this stuff. We have to go through life and learn this stuff. But so many of us have gone through this devaluation and it's left remnants on our heart. It's left, a, it's left a stain, sorry, on our heart where you don't feel worthy, you know. And I want you to feel worthy around other people. I want you to be proud of who you are, regardless of what colour you are, regardless of what religion you are, regardless of anything. I want you to be proud of who you are, you know. Don't ever put yourself down. Be proud of who you are. Honestly. Um, you're unique. There's never, as I said earlier on, there's never going to be another you, right? So you've got to live this life to your best potential. And what you bring to this world is what you bring to this world, right? You have got potential in you to do something. I'm telling you, all empaths and all chosen ones have something that they can bring to the world. You may not be there yet. You may not have awakened to what you what your what your mission is. And I'm not saying my mission is YouTube. I'm just along my journey. But for now, I'm doing YouTube, right? And I've been in places and I've been around people, you know. Even when we, um, even if you mention, even if you talk about Jesus, right? For example, Jesus was sent to a small, well, not a small group, but he was sent to a particular group of people at a particular time, right? And they didn't really resonate with the message, right? But he left such an impact in the world that he's known throughout the world, right? He he made a bigger impact than what his mission was really to do because he was sent to some maybe those because he was with the Jewish people, but those some a lot of those Jewish people didn't accept him. Right, and I'm not getting rel religious here. I'm just using it as an example. So your mission might be, you know, you being a black sheep in your family, or and you, or you break the curse. Not, I don't believe in curses, but you, you change the agenda of where your family's lineage is going. You, it might be, you, you know, you might not be uh, dealing with the masses. 
you might have a more niche mission that's catered to you. There might be, I don't know, I'm just using examples here. There might be a particular group of people that you're around that you're helping. I don't know, it can be a variety of things, but please just don't compare yourself because none of this gonna none of this is gonna matter. None of this superficiality, if that's even the right word, superficial, um, is gonna matter. None of this TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, none of this is really gonna matter when it comes to the end, you know? I like YouTube. Because YouTube, there is a lot of good content on YouTube and you can learn a lot from YouTube. So that's why I do like YouTube. I'm not really interested in social media in general, but, um, you know, I only got the Instagram because I thought that you could make videos and post videos and I thought it might be it. But then when I, when I, when I downloaded it, it wasn't what I thought it'd be. So, um, but please, people, don't don't compare yourself. I just want you to be proud of who you are, you know? I'm just sharing what what I tell myself every day, you know? I tell myself to be proud of myself, and I want you to be proud as well. Because a lot of us have been through really bad abusive situations with these narcissists, and honestly, they leave a stain on us, and it's hard to shake that sometimes. And realistically... Sometimes we look through a lens about ourselves, which is not true. And we're not really perceiving ourselves. of We're not really seeing ourselves of how we're really perceived. You know, we, 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 we put ourselves down too much, you know. So be proud of who you are. And it can start by just looking in the mirror and admiring your beauty. Your own unique beauty. It can start on the surface. And then you can work inwards. Or you can start on the inside and work out. You know. But admire what you have. You've got a unique set of gifts. You know. Sometimes we get lost in the 9 to 5 working. Or whatever times you're working. We get lost in work. We get lost in raising children. We get lost in a relationship. We get lost in this stuff. Take some time out to really treasure who you are and focus on your gifts. Focus on what you are and realize what you are because you are unique. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. And I know I've kept saying that in this video, but I don't want you to compare yourself. If you compare yourself, it is a toxic trait. It leads you down a rabbit hole to nowhere, you know. It's continuously comparing, 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 comparing. It can make you envious, jealous, resentful. It can make you bitter and twisted, you know, if you're comparing yourself to people. It can make you unhappy. Sorry, let me just have a sip of my tea. It can make you um unhappy. It can make you not content with life. So from from after this video, just... Try and take the advice that I've tried to share and start admiring yourself. Start being grateful for who you are. Be proud of your unique creation. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of your achievements. Be proud of everything. You deserve it. We need to do this as part of our healing. We need to do this as part of our healing from what we've been through, you know, I've taken some time out and I've really done a lot of introspection and reflecting and I've I've found my footing, I believe, in the world. I've found my footing in the world and I understand the complexities of what I've been through and I've understood how devaluation can really affect us and how people's actions towards us can really affect us, right? So please, just focus on yourself. Focus on your unique person that you are and never, ever, ever compare yourself to anybody else again, right? If you get the creeping in thought where you're comparing, cut it at the root, right? And leave it gone, you know? If you, if you momentarily start comparing, throw it away. You're unique. You've got a mission ahead of you. You're already on a mission and there's no time for comparisons in this picture.
There's no time for comparisons at all. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find a link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session myself, you can also find a link in the description box. Currently, I've got the main channel, the narcissism channel. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.